Наши брызги тумарусы.
Before we start, could I ask you to switch off your phones? Just now, the cortege will enter. May I request that you all rise and remain standing until the cortege is seated. Please, all rise. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, friends of the Institute, colleagues, but most importantly, graduating students and their friends and family, welcome to IHE Delft Institute for Water Education's graduation ceremony of 2019. I'm Laura Kwak, and I will be your lady speaker today. Dear graduates, Finally, the day has come that you have worked towards so hard. I'm convinced that you have learned a lot during your months at IHE Delft. Of course, there was a lot of academic information from your dedicated lecturers, including in class and during discussions and working on your assignments and your research. But I'm also quite sure that you learned a lot from each other making use of the personal and vibrant community that we have that connects professionals from different walks of life and from around the world. I would like to introduce someone who has started at the Institute just before most of today's graduates did. Professor Eddie Moores became the rector of IHE Delft in July 2017. And three months later, in October of that same year, most of the students graduating today arrived in the Netherlands and started their MSc programs with us. Please help me welcome to the stage our rector, Professor Moores. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Laura. And uh, I would like to start by uh, welcoming uh, all of you. Uh, your Excellencies, 
I think most important uh, people here today are the students. And I think uh, besides the students, also their friends and families and colleagues uh, that are here. And also all the guests that we have here in, uh, in the room together. So I'm happy to see such a big number of uh, people being here. And I think it's uh, nice to know that uh, there's also a quite uh, diverse community here. And like Laura said, uh, I started in 2017, and I'm very happy that with this batch of students, um, I hope that uh, for me that's also a start of uh, having a stronger connection with the alumni community of which you will become member after your graduation today. I think uh, why we th uh, think it's important uh, as an institute is that uh, if we look what's happening around the world, uh, then one of the items that are very high on uh, the list of risks and assessed by the World Economic Forum is water crisis. So it's uh, the last couple of years on uh, the top five list of uh, crises that could have an impact and a big likelihood uh, to occur. And that's one of the reasons why we think uh, we should do something about it. But how can you do that then? And there uh, we as uh, IHE and you as uh, part of the IHE community can play a big role. So we think it's important that uh, with you, uh, we share the knowledge actually to other parts of the world uh, to enable the water sector to make a step forward in achieving the goals that are set. And I think one of the, the major examples there are the sustainable development goals. Um, there's one uh, that's related to water, which is the sustainable development goal number six on uh, water and sanity. It's also about integrated water resource management. But I hope that you also picked up during your study here at the Institute, it's not only about this SDG, it's also about the other sustainable development goals like climate change and uh, like poverty. So there's a strong connection with water coming back in most of the different SDGs. We can't do that alone. I think uh, we need as an Institute also the support, first of all, from uh, the students coming here. And that's why I'm very happy that we have representatives of 45 embassies sitting here in the room. And uh, also what we uh, require is actually funding here. And also from the funding side, people that make it possible financially to support you in your fellowships, we have a number of representatives, for example, of the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but also of uh, the Rotary Clubs, also of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and uh, a lot of other institutes and also persons uh, doing that on their individual interests are uh, helping us to support those fellowships. So we need all that. And uh, with that, I would also like to uh, have an open invitation to the embassies that are represented here and who are in the unlucky position that they don't have a representative as a student at this moment, that uh, we would be very interested to collaborate with you to see how we can also help you to reinforce the water sector in your country. So if you're interested in there, we invite you actually uh, to come to us and see how we can together support uh, the water sector. With that, uh, I would like uh, actually to um, open this ceremony. And uh, I think uh, what I would also like to do is uh, to now announce uh, the second uh, speaker. And I think that um, when you started here as a student, uh, you also had an invitation actually to join one of the exhibitions. And that exhibition was about what uh, your former colleagues did. And that exhibition was first uh, opened at uh, the town hall of the city of Delft. Later on, that was also uh, exhibitioned in Paris, but the start was here in Delft. And I think uh, for us as an institute, and I think also for you as a student, we have the Dutch friends, but we also have a very strong collaboration with the municipality of the city of Delft. And the next speaker is uh, the major of Delft. And uh, I think if uh, I uh, can say a few words about her, uh, interesting for me is that uh, she also used to be in Ministry of Education. And as an education institute, who better can we have here to talk to you than the major of Delft with a background and interest in education, but also with a very strong interest in Delft. And I think uh, talking about Delft without talking about water, that's impossible. So I think there's also a very strong link uh, to the water sector. And with that, I would like uh, to ask um, 
the major, Ms. Maria van Beisterveld, uh, to come uh, say on the podium and say a few words to you. So I hope you will have an enjoyable afternoon, and I leave the floor to the major. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, it's so good to see you students back. 18 months ago, I had the pleasure of welcoming you here in our beautiful city. You came from so many different countries to the Netherlands, to Delft, to plunge into the world of water management here at IHE Delft to learn more about the management of water, to do research and to develop important competences and skills. In Delft, you had to further specialize to become creative problem solvers in the area of water and environment. And now you are sitting here, so obviously you have succeeded. I'm very proud that our city may house IHE Delft. IHE Delft Institute for Water Education is the largest international water education faculty in the world. An institute for researchers find solutions to, to water problems of unprecedented complexity and size. Within IHE Delft you have, uh, you have worked on solutions to international problems concerning water which are the result of global developments such as climate change, urbanization, and migration. But you have also learned a lot about the challenges people face locally and regionally, such as droughts and subsidence and floods and bad water quality. What an honor that Delft could educate you to attack these problems. But honestly, where else could you have been better educated in water management than here in Delft? First of all, because of the presence of important water institutes, knowledge institutes like Deltares, TU, and IHE. But also historical. The water in our canals largely determines the cultural historical identity of Delft. Maybe we have the most beautiful canals in the country, would you agree? Okay, sounds positive. <laughs> and the 18 months that you lived here, you may have taken a canal cruise, or last year you may have even ice skated on the frozen canals. Anyway, of course the canals in Delft are managed by water managers, so that the water level does not get too high, Contamination is solved quickly, and fish and water plants can flourish. Not only Delft, but the whole of the Netherlands is well known for its abundance of water. Apart from the fact that we have a very long coastline, behind it there are also many ditches, channels, lakes, and rivers. Almost a third of our country is below sea level. If the Netherlands did not protect itself against water, then half of the country would be underwater. Our mills, polders, and dikes preventing that, and they are world famous. For centuries, we have lived with water. That often gives us uh, joy, but at the same time, it's sometimes dangerous. Ever since a thousand years before Christ, people in the Netherlands have been inventing techniques to live safely in more places. Also, even back then, coastal areas and the areas behind the coast were getting wetter and wetter. Only on the highest parts could people live safe. That is why the first water managers of the Netherlands and maybe of the whole world appeared here. Our ancestors, developed, for example, a system of dihydrate peat. Later on, the first dikes and dams appeared here to keep the water out. Along the coast, the inhabitants raised the higher parts to build their uh, farms. So, 
For centuries, we have been working on solutions to damming up the water. Sometimes very successful, sometimes less. The large hydraulic projects of the last centuries, with, a cli with as climax, the Delta Works, are examples of our victory of, for, uh, over the sea. Other impressive examples are the reclaimed land in the Beemster polder and the Kinderdijk mills, which are both on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Last year, thanks to IHE, you have been able to see Kinderdijk with your own eyes. Our water knowledge has even become an export product, since we help other countries prevent floods and dam lands. Dam lands. For example, the city of New Orleans consulted Dutch engineers to enforce their defense against the water. And that is precisely why we are happy that IHE is based in our country. But let me go back to you, because it's your day. You have been now completed your master. In the past 18 months, you have been studying intensively. You have spent 12 months in class and six months in research and writing a thesis. And now, finally, you are rewarded for your efforts with a master diploma. You look beautiful today. I saw a few women walk around in the city. Some of you uh, even came in the traditional dress of your country of origin as proof of the international character of this institute. I have understood that every year an average 160 students from over 50 countries start a master. What a diversity. You must have learned also an awful lot from each other. Now you have, as it were, emerged. You belong to the world top as far as water management is concerned. It is now time to put into practice what you have learned. You will probably go back to your own country to apply your knowledge and skills there. So that is also in your country, the level of water management will go to a higher level. But also here in the Netherlands, we still need your help. Scientists expect global warming to result in higher water levels in rivers and a rise of the sea level. In the western part of our country, the soil will shrink even further. Other areas, on the contrary, will dry, with negative results for agriculture. So there is plenty to do also here in the Netherlands. Water management is never finished. The theme of today is fare Farewell's party is stream like water, where does this lead to? Later on, you will all flow away from Delft and most likely go home, back to your family and friends. You must have missed them very much. I admire you for leaving home and family and friends to acquire all that knowledge here in Delft. Now you are on your way to a new step in your career, in your life. I wish you all good luck in the new step. Whether it will be in your home country, here in the Netherlands, or anywhere else. Thank you in advance for your contribution to a better world. I do hope that you won't forget your time here in Delft. Think back sometimes to that beautiful city with its many, with its many canals. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor van Bijsterveld, for celebrating our students' success with us 
and sharing, sharing some water management history of the Netherlands and of Delft, so they know exactly why they studied water in Delft. Now, it's time for something a little different. Up next is a dance performance from Nepal. The first dance that will be performed is called Jiuri, and it comes from the western part of Nepal. It's a dance often performed by young boys and girls to express the joy of meeting their lovers. The rhythm and song start slowly, but the pace speeds up. The second performance they will do is of a well-known folk song. It uses traditional Nepali instruments mixed in with Western beats, giving the song a modern touch, but keeping the traditional vibe intact. Please welcome them. So I would like uh, to thank actually uh, the Nepalese uh, dancers. Uh, the last time uh, I was in uh, Kathmandu, it was about uh, two years ago, 
Uh, I was also invited actually to join them in a dance there, and I can tell you it's quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they, they did really, really, really well. What I also wanted to do is uh, I wanted to invite actually uh, the second uh, speaker, and uh, our uh, second speaker here uh, today is uh, somebody who has been working in uh, the water sector for quite some years. A uh, big number of you will know him because uh, he's also uh, lecturing, uh, among others, at uh, IG but uh, also at TU Delft, uh, also in, uh, in Wageningen, and at a, a lot of other places. He's our youngest, um, say, honorary fellow, and uh, with that, uh, I think it also uh, tells a little bit about uh, what, what, what he has in himself. And what it is, is uh, the fact, actually, that uh, when he started his career, he started actually coming from an, a mid-career position, as most of you are also coming from, and then he came uh, to IC Delft, and he did his PhD at IC Delft, and uh, became a lecturer at IC Delft. He also became a professor at the TU Delft, but he also was vice-rector at IC Delft. So I think uh, he's one of the examples of uh, how people that start at IC Delft uh, grow to their career, and how they contribute to the water sector. And I think uh, it's nice uh, to have him here, because I think he could uh, be one of the examples where you could look at on what you will also become. So I do hope that maybe in one day in time, I can greet you as one of the vice rectors or rectors of IG Delft. So um, I would like to invite Hupsa van Eijen here, and uh, I would like him to say a few words uh, to you, and uh, I hope that that's also an inspiration. And uh, Hup, you're reminded that you should uh, wear a cap. <laughs> Yes. Yes, and, and before you start, Hup, uh, we will put you in the center spot over here. Thank you very much, Mr. Rector. Eddie, thank you for your nice introduction. Um, I'm used to uh, starting this always with uh, welcoming everybody. So, first of all, of course, welcome graduates from IHE. Uh, I take a little bit different order than you would normally do because you would start with Madam Mayor and the and Director and Your Excellencies Ambassadors and Your Excellencies uh, of institutions that uh, support IHE. And then I would say all protocol observed but the most important here is that you are here, uh, graduates of IHE, and of course your supporters uh, who are here. So uh, a warm welcome to you. And as the rector already said, uh, I have a long history with IHE. I came here in 1990 as, a, uh, as one of the staff, as a junior member of staff, uh, and I started immediately on my PhD. But I have been working, just like you, or most of you, already for quite some time as a professional. I had worked for 12 years in different parts of the world as a hydrologist, and IHE was the place that offered me the opportunity to bring this to a higher academic level. So I had a lot of experience and a lot of questions and research questions, but here at IHE I could uh, bring this to uh, the academic level, and that opened for me a huge world. Something else that I did during my first years at IHE is I started the uh, educational program of water resources management. And I'm sure many of you follow that program. Who, who are in water resources management? Okay, there are a few hands. Now, when I started this program in 1992, we had four master students in water resources management. And these four master students have made amazing careers. And I would like to highlight three of them because I kept very close uh, contact with them. Uh, the first I, I want to mention is Dr. Muna Mirgani. She uh, is from uh, Sudan. Uh, when I start with doctor, it means that after IHE, she worked for quite some time as a professional, but then she did her PhD, and now she is a very senior technical advisor uh, of uh, uh, in, 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 she's a principal consultant water resources management in Sudan. She made an amazing career. 
She was one of the first to study the uh, societal impact of water resources management and her paper that we produced during, that, uh, during her master's is very well cited. The other person that I would like to remember is Liu Heng. Liu Heng came from China and uh, he did his master's also in water resources management. Later he became the director of the hydraulic laboratory in, uh, in Hohai and at present he is the senior technical advisor of UNIDO, the United Nations organization based in Vienna. So, amazing career. And yet the third one is Michael Mutale, who is from Zambia. He is presently the executive secretary of the Zambezi Water Commission. He's the most important person on the management of the Zambezi. And these three people worked very closely together during their MSc. I know that uh, my, uh, my student, Michael Mutale, helped Liu Hung with his English, which was not so well. Uh, so uh, he helped him with the English, but Liu Hung helped him with the modeling, and uh, Muna Mirgani helped them with the societal implications of their work. And they're still very much in touch, and they always help each other when uh, one needs to have a promotion, then the other writes a letter of support. And this is how things go. They have really made great careers. And I'm quite sure that when you are 10 years further, you will look back on your time at IHE, that they helped you to make a, 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 an additional step in your academic qualities. But more importantly, it opened the world to you. And it created a network of friends among you. And this is a unique opportunity. Many of you, when you go home to your own country, you will again drop into the same rhythm that, uh, that's, that you are used to in your own country, but you will always remember how it was to link up with all these different cultures, with all these different people, and who have become your friends. Now, IHE has, in my view, three very important qualities. First of all, IHE is the capacity building institution in the water sector in the world. There's, there's nothing like the IHE. The IHE has this as its main uh, objective, its mission. But what makes it so unique is that at IHE you study your own environment. When I was a vice rector of IHE, the rector was Professor Zegre. He made the IHE great, I would say. And he said when they study in Delft, they don't study the water of Delft. They study their own water. They study their own societal context, their own problems. This is unique. In so many different places in the world when you study, you study the subject that your supervisor or the country offers to you. But you work with your own field. This is great. And the third thing is that you are now part of a unique network of people. You should Cherish that. Make sure that you will always react when IHE calls to update your profile or when you change your email. Always communicate to IHE because being part of this immense network of IHE is so incredibly uh, fruitful. So, this is all. I only had five minutes and I'm not sure if I passed. Uh, I wish you a very, very, very fruitful career and uh, I hope that at some time we can meet again somewhere in the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Savanaya for showing us how far an education at our institute can take our graduates. And I totally agree with you, there's nothing quite like IHE. Up next are two representatives of the group of graduating students, Ms. Karelia Martinez Sambrana from Nicaragua and Mr. Parth Kamath from India. Please welcome them with a round of applause. Good afternoon. 
mayor, rector, lecturers, professor, non-academic staff, special guests, graduate students, family, friends. Good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to you, to you all. Congratulations to all the students for the successful completion of their master program. This is your big day. We are so honored to represent you today in this special location. I think that we all agree that these 18 months that we have been here have been a life-changing experience, right? So in 2016, when I decided to apply to come to IIC, I contacted an alumni of Nicaragua that started in IIC in 2007. The first thing that he told me is that coming to IIC was one of the most amazing experience in his life. At that moment, I had no idea what he meant. I do now, and I'm there to say that you all do as well. When I started my bachelor's in uh, engineering, I was not even closely related to water or civil engineering. My original uh, admission into a bachelor's was for textile engineering. But in 2010, something that fascinated me the most was uh, the role IHE Delft played in the world as a role model as well as a leader in the field of water and environment issues. Hence, uh, nine years ago, I began this relentless pursuit of applying to IHE Delft, and here I am today. But even after achieving this goal of this master's, I can still say that the last 18 months has given a different spark in me, or a spark in all of us that is going to make us into the young water professionals that this world today needs to change the world and be the change we wish to see together. We are living in a changing world, in a critical moment where the planet and future generations demand our action right now. Global warming, climate change, water scarcity are issues affecting us, but are issues as well created by us. And like my colleague Karelia said, we all are thinking about moving to Mars as a humanity or as a next destination for humans to live. But what we fail to realize is we don't have an answer to a simple problem that is water. But water, water is, you say, is very general. What do you mean by it? Well, we all know that water is available easily. But we, what we don't know is it is not easily available to all. At some places, it is available in plenty. But that itself creates a problem in terms of destruction to physical lives as well as destruction in terms of infrastructure. At some places, it is too hard to access, which gives rise to issues within a nation as well as between the nations. On the other hand, when water is dirty, well, I don't think any human being would use dirty water. As well as sometimes there is issues where water is very hard to access. And that itself is seen around the world because two billion people still lack access to safe water. So we all came here moved for a cause. So we realized at some point of a professional or personal life that water was an issue that should be addressed. So we decided to improve our knowledge about something that we thought that was, was going to be meaningful to face the water challenge in our countries. Then IIC became the venue where cultures collide and water became the binder element that made possible the unlikely, putting together in one place such a diversity of cultures, nationalities, and disciplines, first connected by one concern, one common concern, and then bonded by, by a friendship. So now I would like to ask you, do you remember your first day in, I in IIC? Do you remember how you became friend of your friends? How were your thoughts back then? What are your first impressions? And what are your thoughts right now? I think that we all started this journey together in a new country that, that kindly welcomed 
and also we have shared uh, a lot of histories and a lot and a lot of things together. We have collected valuable memories. We have cried together. We have worked very hard. We have fought against the, against the weather. We also have traveled and we have known together new places and we have learned from one each other. We have shared music, food, recipes, dancing, and a lot of memories. But something that we also learned at IHE was issues such as water cannot be solved individually. Issues like water requires an interdisciplinary approach. It requires engineers to know subjects that our social scientists uh, use to solve water. But at the same time, social scientists also need to understand the engineering side of solving water. That is something we learned here at IHE. And I'm sure everyone is going to carry a story back home. Today is the day which we can consider not only an achievement for us as graduates, but also for the friends and family who have continuously showed their love and support in the past 18 months. Sorry. Finally, I would like to also add here saying that this might be the final day we graduate and see each other possibly, but I would like to say that it is also a new beginning. A new beginning as a network of young professionals that our earlier speakers also mentioned which we need to cherish, learn from each other, grow together, and make this world a better place. So, and we would like to take this opportunity to thank in behalf of, and your colleague that way to all the staff of IIC, professors, lecturers for your dedication. Thank you very much for the, thank you for the non-academic staff, all the, all the people in IIC that have supported us and welcomed us during all, in all this time. Um, also, uh, thank you for, thank you to the sponsors. Thank you, uh, Rotary International, Newfic, uh, World Bank, uh, Bill and Melinda Foundation. Thank you all. Thank you, family and friends here and back home for all the support and love and all this time. And also, thank you, graduate, for having the site to come here and become part of the big family of IIC. Thank you, because this is your day and we did it. Thank you so much. We were like used to conclude with a nice quote that I think that enclosed the feeling of IIG. So it's a, a quote by Lyndon B. Johnson. There are no problems that we cannot solve together and very few that we cannot solve by ourselves. So let's make it work. Thank you. Thank you so much. And congratulations. Thank you, Karelia Parth, for your inspiring words. I'm quite sure that many other, other students will be thinking of their shared memories at the Institute while we continue to, with the part of the program that I think everybody's been waiting for, the awarding of the diplomas. We will start the awarding with the Environmental Science MSc program. For this, I would like to call to the stage Erik de Ruiter and Ken Irvine. While they come up, just a quick word on how this will go. I will call each student one by one. They will come on stage, receive their diploma, take a photo, and the next student will follow. Of course, applause is in order, but try to keep it short so that each graduate can have their moment. Now we will begin with the specialization in environmental planning and management.
So is everyone where they want to be at? Okay. The first of our graduates is Ms. Adeboyo from Nigeria. Mr. Am Alam from Bangladesh. Mr. Banda from Zambia. Mr. Chen from China. Mr. Odiambo from Kenya. Mr. Ortsin from Ghana. Mr. Tsuring from Bhutan. Next is the specialization in environmental science and technology. Mr. Bizia from Kenya. Ms. Gajipu from Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Mojab from Iran. Mr. Prabhu Shirotkar from India. <laughs> Don't forget your books. <laughs> Next is the Joint MSc Program Specialization in Limnology and Wetland Management. Ms. Adikari from Nepal. <laughs> Mr. Alam from Bangladesh.
Ms. Guba Mwoyo from Uganda. Ms. Muyambana from Zambia. <laughs> Ms. Namumbia from Uganda. Ms. Namu Tebi from Uganda. <laughs> Mr. Preeler from Austria. Ms. Wellnover from Austria. Now for the specialization in water quality management, Ms. Kabui from Kenya. Ms. Jaya from Ghana. I would like to invite Saurad Sharma and Maria Kennedy to come to the stage for the awarding of the specialization in water supply engineering of the Urban Water and Sanitation MSc program. Mr. Bakran Kizi from Tanzania. Mr. Shapagain from Nepal. <laughs> Mr. Deresa from Ethiopia. Ms. Ms. Gai Shugi from Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Jamcho from Bhutan. With distinction. Mr. Kapala from Zambia. <laughs> Mr. Li from China.
Mr. Mahardani from Indonesia. Mr. Oria from Kenya. <laughs> Damir Brjanovic, please join Savage on stage for the Sanitary Engineering Specialization. Ms. Adikari from Nepal. <laughs> Ms. Bataya Vermer from Uruguay. Ms. Dubuyu Clabio from Uruguay. Ms. Iriho from Rwanda. Mr. Kamat from India, with distinction. <laughs> Ms. Kolekar from India. Mr. Mas Masmala from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Mr. Mupepe from Zimbabwe. Mr. Osai Barima from Ghana. <laughs> Mr. Pawar from India. Ms. Resinos Arena Arenas from Guatemala, with distinction. <laughs> Ms. Wunsch de Alva Renga from Brazil. Claire Furlong, could you please join Damir on stage for the MSc in Sanitation? Mr. Amodan from Uganda. Ms. Gupta from India. 
Oh, you missed something. Ms. Gupta from India. Mr. Kafwembe from Zambia. Ms. Lalu from India. Ms. Murillo Ortiz from Costa Rica. Ms. Ngere from Kenya. Mr. Nji from Gambia. <laughs> Ms. Bellini from Brazil. Ms. Raj Bandari from Nepal. Mr. Safi from Afghanistan. Ms. Vedasvari from Indonesia. <laughs> Mr. Rono from Kenya, with distinction. And Mr. Rono, please remain there as Dr. Shrestha from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation joins us on stage for the Best Thesis Award. Just so you know, this award enables the winner to prepare a publication and present it at a conference of his choice. This year, the award goes to him for this thesis on exploring seasonal variation in fecal risk pathways in Rubaga division using the sunny path. Would Elias Massi and Peter van der Zaag please come to the stage for the awarding of the MSc program in Water Management and Governance.
Mr. Adona Daga from Ghana. Ms. Garcia Lopez from Guatemala. Ms. Bakshian Lamuki from Iran. Ms. Bueno Giacomini from Brazil. <laughs> Mr. Du Rojani Schlotfeld from Chile, with distinction. Ms. Niengi from Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Ahmadi from Afghanistan. Mr. Badawi from Egypt. <laughs> Mr. Kiwiya from Pakistan. Ms. Matar from Lebanon. <laughs> Ms. Naguma from Kenya, with distinction. Ms. Nguyen from Vietnam. Thank you. Mireille Tutusaus and Margreet Zwarteveen, please come to the stage to continue the awarding of the Water Management and Governance Program. Mr. Jahaya from Ghana. Mr. Genga from Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Kandipan from Sri Lanka. Mr. Appa from Ghana. Whoa. 
Mr. Archie Diacono from Italy, with distinction. <laughs> Ms. Chu from Taiwan. Ms. Mungakar from India. Ms. Ono from Japan. Mr. von Steinkirch d'Oliviera from Brazil. <laughs> Mr. Katri from Nepal. Ms. Martinez Sambrana from Nicaragua. I call on stage Johan Reims and Dano Rufink for the awarding of water, manage, uh, water science and engineering the MSc program. We'll start with the Coastal Engineering and Port Development Specialization. Ms. Arens from South Africa. Ms. de Toledo Albes from Brazil. <laughs> Mr. Freiermuth Mijan from Mexico. Mr. Khonim from Egypt, with distinction. <laughs> Ms. Gumalo from South Africa. Mr. Prado Vieira Leite from Brazil. Thank you. Alessandro Catapan and Maria, Mario Franca, please come to, to the stage as we continue with the hydraulic engineering and river basin development specialization. Ms. Ahmadpur from Iran.
Mr. Grisetti Vasquez from Paraguay with distinction. Mr. G Kalu Bandaga from Sri Lanka. <laughs> Ms. Kavera from Rwanda. Mr. Migade from Uganda. <laughs> Ms. Rai from Nepal. Ms. Shresta, also from Nepal. <laughs> Mr. Shresta from Nepal. Ms. Te Tefa Ruban from Sri Lanka. And will Chris Severberger join Mario on the stage? Mr. Lau from Hong Kong. And will Dimitri Solomatin please join Chris on stage as we continue with the hydroinformatics specialization. Mr. Jin from China. And will Leonardo Alfonso join Dimitri on stage? Mr. Abi Kuhn from Sri Lanka. <laughs> Mr. Ahmed from Bangladesh. Mr. Allen from Guyana. <laughs> Mr. Belai from Ethiopia. Mr. Kaiu from China.
Mr. Chai from China. Mr. Cheng from China. <laughs> Mr. Gug from India. Mr. Huang from Taiwan. With distinction. <laughs> Ms. Matre from India. Mr. Fung from Vietnam. <laughs> Ms. Thieu from Singapore. Also with distinction. Ms. Zhu from China. <laughs> Mr. Zhu from China. Jochen Wenninger and Michael McLean, please come to the stage as we continue with the hydrology and water resources specialization. Mr. Amin from Pakistan. Ms. Busal from Nepal. Ms. Boucherie from France. With distinction. Ms. Cabeza Mantilla from Colombia. Mr. Gupta from India. Mr. Hassan from Somalia. <laughs> Ms. Kamble from India.
Mr. Mugo from Kenya. Mr. Nazuki from Kenya. Ms. Baudel from Nepal. Mr. Paudel from Nepal. Ms. Subedi from Nepal. Mr. Tang from China. And Ms. Wu from China. Laszlo Hyde and Charlotte Freiture, please come to the stage for the specialization in land and water development for food security. Mr. Alonge from Nigeria. Ms. Kayateshi Manishwemi from Rwanda. <laughs> Ms. Makvena from Zimbabwe. Mr. Mutakanyi from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Mr. Mwanza from Zambia. We have come to the end of the awarding ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity to be the first to congratulate you all. You made it. You are now IHE Delft alumni. I'm sure, yeah, go. I'm sure you'll remember this moment with pride as you've all worked very, very, very hard to get here. I'm certain that now you're all prepared to work with passion and dedication on addressing some of the very urgent issues in water and environment that the world is dealing with. At IHE Delft, we wish you the best of luck with the rest of your journey and we hope you will keep in touch with us. 
I would now like to call on stage once again our rector, Professor Moore, to officially close the ceremony. Okay, thank you very much. And I'm also very happy that I can be the second to, to congratulate you all. So congratulations. And uh, I think that uh, you deserve, deserve an applause here. Yeah. Of course, um, now uh, you, you finished the part. I think you have finished an interesting part. For some, I think it was also quite a difficult one. So I think you, you really deserve to celebrate this as well. What I also think is that uh, with uh, your graduation, you are now also a member of the IT alumni. And uh, that means that uh, you are now following the foot tracks of uh, Hupsa van Nijen, who is sitting over there. So I hope that uh, you will do that and that you will surprise us in the years to come. I personally am, am very happy that you are my first batch of students coming from IIT. I am very interested to hear from you and uh, to learn actually what you're doing and where you're going. But also I would like to invite you actually to keep in contact with us because I think you've learned maybe from being here, but I do hope and I'm sure that that will happen. We can learn from you. So that's another reason that uh, we are very interested actually that you keep in contact with us so we can also learn and improve ourselves while we're growing, I hope, as IG community together. With that, uh, I would also like uh, to thank all uh, the people here today, all the guests that were here. Uh, I would like to thank the excellencies. I would like to thank everybody who made it possible to do this. Also IG staff, thank you very much for making this happen. And uh, maybe I can say that also a little bit on behalf of the students, actually, that uh, we appreciate this, that, that this happened here. I think that uh, we are almost there, but uh, before uh, we are leaving, I would like uh, to say that uh, I'm happy that uh, with the group that's here, we make a next step in achieving the sustainable development goals. And I think that's an important part, and that's where we would like to contribute also at uh, IG Institute for Water Education in Delft. I would like to thank the speakers here very much. I would like to thank the major as well. I think it's nice that uh, there is an, an award that was handed out. So I would like to thank also the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to make this possible. But I think more important is it that uh, you are at uh, an end of a journey and that you're starting a new journey. And there, uh, some of you forgot the little blue book that you got. It's uh, the book on uh, water wisdoms. And actually the content of the book is something that was set together by your predecessors. So uh, from alumni from IIT. And uh, you don't have to read it now. You don't even have to read it while you're flying back. But what we hope is that uh, once in the years or months to come, you have a quiet moment, uh, just have a peek in the book and see if there are issues there that may help you also on your next road that you will start traveling today. And with that, uh, I would like to thank you all, and I would uh, give the floor actually to our lady speaker of today, Laura, because uh, she's going to help us to go through the last moments of the session over here, where there will be some pictures taken. And then uh, after that, I would like to invite you all to join me. We will walk back to the Institute, and we will have a reception over there. And I do hope that I can uh, share a drink with all of you. So thank you very much. And Laura. It's just little over 4.30. I think it's the fastest MSc uh, graduation that I've ever attended. Um, thank you, Professor Morse. Dear alumni, I'm sure that all of you are ready to celebrate your achievement, but I want to urge you to take really, really, really good care of your diplomas as they cannot be replaced. So put it somewhere safe. Please bear with us as we take two group photos. I think the photographer is already getting ready for these. The first photo will be of our graduates with their diplomas, and feel free to show off those as much as you can. The second photo will be of all of you holding up the SDGs as well, which have been handed out to you, I hope. But first the diplomas, second one with the SDGs, okay?
Everything. The SDGs? Yep. Now that's done, the cortege will leave. The rest of us can directly follow them back to the institute. So while they leave, please rise. <laughs> <laughs>